Hello, good evening, guys. Monday, Monday, again. Lunesito de nuevo. So, then, si quiero ver su rostro. Necesito, I need to see your faces. Necesito ver esa cara de, de energía positiva, mental peace, paz mental, equilibrium, balanceado. Yes, I know. Todo es amor y paz, right? So, sí. No. No. Not at all, para nada. Okay, so let's see. Um, what did you do on the weekend? Susie, tell me two things that you did on the weekend. Maybe routines, maybe you, you I don't know, went out or what? Mm, working, more working. Working and more work. Working and more money, okay. Perfect. <laughs> ya quisiéramos. Ah, ya quisiera. <laughs> I wish, como ah, desearía, I wish. Yo sé que sí, I know. You do. Okay, so Andreita, tell me. Tienes cara de que you had a lot of fun, como que disfrutaste el fin de semana. Yeah. Uh, I watched movies. Watching movies. Okay, good. Watching movies. Do you remember the name of the movie? El Conjuro 3. Ah, do, did you like it? Yes. Sí. More or less. Yes. From, yes. one, from one to ten, what's uh, the score? ¿Cuál es el puntaje que le das? Um, nine. Nueve. Nine. nine. <laughs> well, nine. That, that's nice. Well, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I don't usually watch horror movies, but maybe I can see it. I, I, I like those. Me gusta esas. Me gustan esas. Okay. Perfect. What about Carmen? I, I really love your t-shirt, Carmen. You look like hippie. You look like, like Woodstock, peace and love, right? Perfect. How was your weekend, Carmen? Um, I got to uh, visit how, uh, cook. my family. Okay, with your family. Do you remember what? Uh, maybe meat, carne, chicken, or pasta, pizza, soup, Eat. sopa. Uh, yes, que comiste? Do you remember with your family? Uh, right? Meat. Ah, meat. Okay. You like meat? Yeah, that's nice. On Thursday or on Sunday? What day? Sunday. On Sunday. Yeah, that's perfect. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, Nancy, hello, Nancy. You, you look like a bee, but I said abejita. So tell me, how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo este fin de semana? No llores. Relax. No llores. Don't cry. Don't cry. Do excellent. Excellent. Okay. Do you remember something that you did? On Saturday or Sunday. Algo que hiciste? Sleep. Cry. Sleep. sleep. Dance. Sleep. Wow, that's one of the best things you can do. De las mejores cosas que puedes hacer. Yeah, to sleep. Of course it is. Okay, so let's see. Carla, she's so serious. Carla está seria. What happened? And you have your, you have like Superman t-shirt. So you have power. Yes. <laughs> super girl, super girl. Okay, tell me. Super girl. Okay, do you remember something that you did on Thursday or Sunday? Algo que hiciste? Um, um, sleepy. Sleep. Okay, that's good. Yeah, congratulations. Espero que hayan dormido. I hope you have slept like four hours more than usually. Okay, that's nice. Claudita, hello, Claudia. Are you eating or... Uh, yeah, put in your makeup. ¿Te estás maquillando estás comiendo? Hello. Hello. Okay, how was your weekend? Está comiendo que nos dé. Por el chat, pasalo, por el chat. Okay. Okay. Um, the Sunday? Yeah, And on I, Sunday, on Sunday. On Sunday, on Sunday. Went to the park, my oh, family. Perfect, you went to the park. Yes. Nice, that, that's good. Is the park near or far from your house? Near, cerca, far, lejos. Far. Far, okay. Thank you. Thank you. What about Marlon? Hello, Marlon. How are you tonight? Uh, good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thank you. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I'm okay. What did you do on the weekend, on Saturday or, or on Sunday? <clears throat> on Saturday, I went out with my friends. Perfect. Uh, Perfect. Okay, don't mention the place. Okay, no mention the lugar. No problem. Okay, <laughs> but you went out. 
Yes, that's yes. that's healthy. Okay. And on Sunday, uh, you spend time with your family, right? Yes, uh, I I I spent out mm -hmm. with uh, time with my family, and uh, we we went to the supermarket and we rest. Okay, good. Yes, I think we all spend time with the family on Sunday. Yes, Sundays yes. are for family. Okay, good. Thank you. Diana, hello, Dianita. Que seria esta mujer? Okay, <laughs> tell me, what did you do on, I... on Saturday? What did you do on Sunday? Did you eat pupusas? Went out? Mm. Mm -hmm. It mm, pupusas. Ah, you have pupusas. And, okay, good. And rest. Oh, and rest. Okay, good. It is very common that we, as Salvadorian, we eat pupusas either on Saturday or on Sunday, or both. Como Salvadorian siempre comemos, ¿verdad? Sábado, domingo, o ambos. En su defecto. Yes. Yes, yes, yeah. Pupusas uh, are not boring. No son aburridas para nada. Well, um, let's listen to um, eh, Dora. Hello, Dora. Hello, Dora. Hello. Are you at home uh, in your house? Yeah. Yes. Okay, good. Do you remember something that you did on Saturday or on Sunday? Do you remember one activity that you did? Una actividad que hiciste? Para hoy? No. On Saturday or on Sunday, algo que hiciste. Uh, I am good to show. Okay, you went to church. Thank you, Dora. Perfect. Este es importante eh, siempre como tener la noción, verdad, de que siempre hacemos hay cosas que siempre hacemos como rutinas y otras que no. Eh, todavía no, no estamos no hemos estudiado el pasado, verdad. Por eso es que muchos de ustedes me dijeron cook y pupusas y cosas así. Porque en el pasado se dice eight, ¿verdad? Verbos irregulares y irregulares, que más adelante lo van a ver, pero ustedes me entienden y eso es lo genial. Ya me están entendiendo más las uh, preguntas, ¿ok? So, we have new image. Tenemos una nueva imagen ahora, ¿verdad? Con las días positivas. Yes, it is. Uh, así que este que está aquí soy yo. No, mentira. No, ok. Information, questions and answers, ¿verdad? El tema de ahora son las preguntas de información y respuesta, ¿verdad? Aquí está mi hermoso nombre. And we start with I can stand. Con eso comenzamos. I can stand es yo no soporto. Uh, something that maybe it is uncomfortable. Algo que es incómodo. Comfortable, comfortable es cómodo. Pero uncomfortable es incómodo. Uncomfortable. Cinco sílabas. Uncomfortable. Ok. Uh, there is something that is uh, maybe disgusting. Puede ser algo que es eh, desagradable. Uh, something disgusting. Or simply something that you don't like. For example, I can stand. As, uh, I can stand. Uh, can, sabemos qué significa poder. O yo no puedo. Pero en esta ya, ya es una frase, ¿verdad? Idiomática. I can stand when people throw garbage. No soporto cuando la gente tira basura. I can't stand the noise. No soporto el ruido. But I need you to, to be more specific. Quiero que sea un poquito más specific. Okay. What kind of noise? Maybe um, some churches, algunas iglesias, they have noise. Or some bars, algunos bares, uh, near your house, near your home. Maybe our neighbors. Los vecinitos. We have at least one special neighbor. Al menos todos tenemos un vecino especial. Uh, maybe that person throws garbage on the street. Or maybe that person or that family has a lot of music. Well, music with high volume, a lot of noise. Okay. So that's it. So we're going to start with, um, let's see. Who's going to be the first? We're going to start with Diana. Okay, Diana. Tell me something that you can't stand. I'm not ready. Oh, you're not ready. Okay, no problem. So we go with Dora. I can't. 
I can't stand Ken como el, el novio de la Barbie. Can't. Okay. I can't stand. I I can't stand not being. I can't stand not being able to speak English. Wow. <laughs> okay, not being able to speak English. No soporta no no poder hablar inglés dice. Bárbara. Ahorita hice la tarea. Okay, let's listen to Susie Q. Okay, Susie. Okay. Uh, I can stand the mess. Wow, the mess. To, to irrit irritant people or people who become irritable and jelly. <laughs> okay. Yes, of course. Of course, I understand that. And that happens especially when we work with people attending customers or our bosses or our even colleagues, algunos de nuestros compañeros, yeah. I, I, I understand that, thank you. What about, um, what about Christian? Hello, Christian. How are you doing, my friend? Are, are you ready? Yes. Okay, my friend, tell me what you can't stand. I can stand. Eh, no sé si menciona así. No problem. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think you're having some problems with the internet, maybe, or, or with the microphone. So we're going to continue with Nancy. Okay, Nancy, tell me what you can't stand. I can stand the year of some days. Uh, the year, what do you mean by that? ¿Qué te refieres? Uh -huh. La calor de algún Ah, día? el calor, el calor, the heat. Okay. Uh -huh. Where do you live? Where do you live, Nancy? In San Miguel, right? Okay, what part of San Miguel? Is there a specific village, a village, a un pueblo específico, or there is a, uh, the name of, of the municipio? San Miguel, San Miguel. San Miguel, San Miguel, de Choto. Okay, sí, really? De hecho. <laughs> okay, I have visited San Miguel, especially, like, I think it is Roosevelt Boulevard, creo que es el Boulevard Roosevelt, creo que el principal. Yes, okay. I, I have visited some schools because I was working in a project like five years ago. Hace cinco años estaba trabajando en un proyecto. And yes, it is, but desperating in my case. Desperating, bien desesperante. But because I was not accustomed, porque no estaba acostumbrado. Okay, so that's it. Pero la gente que, que vive de ahí, relax, but there are some cases in which it is a really hard, bien difícil. Okay, Andreita, you tell me now what uh, you... Uh, I... What have you... Mm -hmm. I, can stand, I can stand people mistreating animals. Okay, okay. I can't, can't stand, stand. I mm -hmm. can't stand. People mistreating animals. Yes. And I can stand people who don't listen. Wow. Pero que esa persona vea este video. Okay. Uh, people mistreating animals, uh, lo que maltratan los animales, of course, of course, it is uh, something, uh, something very negative. Yeah. And people who don't listen, la gente que no escucha, eh, tenemos algo. Hear es oír, hear, pero listen es escuchar. You can hear different sounds, you can hear different, yes, even noise, but listen is to pay attention, is to focus, okay? And uh, be clear what, the, well, the message that you're receiving. ¿Verdad? Cuando ponemos atención y, y de realmente captamos el mensaje. Ok. So that's listen, right, Andrea? So that, there are a lot of people that they don't listen. Hay bastantes personas que, que no. 
no escucha. Yes. And that happens sometimes with, with our couple, con nuestra pareja. Sometimes that happens, or with our family, you are like communicating your thoughts, your feelings, comunican tus ideas, sentimientos, but that person, yeah, like the, he or she doesn't pay attention. Thank you, Marlon, okay. Now you tell me what you can't stand. I can't stand uh, uh, when my neighbor's pet leaves dirt. Okay. <laughs> leaves dirt. Yeah. Like, uh, out, in, out of my house. Wow. Mm -hmm. Neighbor's pet mm -hmm. uh, leaves, leaves uh, dirt. Dirt. Deja la sociedad, like experiment, <laughs> like a, a special present for you. Un regalito especial para, para ti, okay, yes. <laughs> so, okay, I, I'm so sorry, but I think we all have experienced that. Yeah, okay. And, may, and sometimes in front of our door, okay, or when you, we walk, donde caminamos, right? Sí, 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 okay, correcto. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for you, Marlon. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Diana tells me that she's ready. So, Dianita, tell me. I can stand half insomnia. Oh, okay. Mm, insomnium or insomnia? Insomnium. Mm -hmm. okay. Insomnia. Okay. In, mm -hmm. Okay, it's uh, insomnia. Yes, uh, singular. Mm -hmm. Or you are... When you are insomnia is uh, the contrary or sleepless. Sleepless significa, when well, insomnia is when you can't sleep, right? Because you are, you, you open your eyes, you close your eyes, you try to, to sleep, but you can't, no puedes. And sleepless is when you have a lot of sleep, you want to sleep, especially during the day. Cuando tenemos bastante sueño, cuando andamos eh, como con bastante sueño es sleepless, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Cómo se le dice? Um, I'm sorry. Como andar somnoliento. Somnoliento, yes, sí, pero es que hay otra palabra aparte de somnoliento. Ah, no, no, tranquila. Desvelado. Desvelado, like, like when you are like that, for example, uh, Marlon went to, to, a, to a concert on Saturday. And he comes back like 3 a.m. <laughs> and the next day he he has to wake up or get or gets up early, like six. Wow. Yes. You, you, your eyes look seem like like cadejo. Parece como de cadejo todo rojo. Okay. <laughs> so that's it. Yes, of course. Now let's listen to uh, hello Leslie. Are you there? Leslie. Hi, teacher. Hello. Okay. How are you tonight? Very good. Okay. So tell us uh, what you can't stand. Ahorita están, todos están liberando. Yeah. yeah you are confessing. Todos I, están can't... Confessing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't stand that they treat animals badly. Okay. Yes. Uh, People mistreating animals, it's similar in a different mm -hmm. way, but it's the same idea. Diferente manera, como lo decís, pero es la misma idea. Good, yeah. There are a lot of people that they mistreat animals, yeah. And sometimes our, well, we have that kind of uh, that problem with our, our neighbors. That happens. And what about, Susia uh, pasó, Carla. Okay, Carla. Tell me. I can't stand the dirty house. Wow, yes. Yeah, okay. I can't I can stand the noise from, from TV. The noise? Or what? Yes. Okay. The noise strong from tea. yeah the, the high volume yeah sometimes we want to sleep in, in, but our family or maybe our brother or sister and uh, he's watching she's watching tv with a lot of volume yeah 
Thank you. Okay, uh, we're about to finish this activity, but I need to hear Carmen's opinion and then Alexander. Okay, Carmen. I can stand a messy house. Ah, oh, yes, messy house. Yes, and I think it is important. Not, not only when we have uh, visits. No, it's for, for, yeah, like normal. Yeah. Yes. Okay, dirty house. Es una casa sucia, but messy house es desordenado. Yes, and that happens. Oh, oh. and can mm -hmm. stand to dry behind someone too slow. Wow, yes, I, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Mm. Uh, drive mm -hmm. behind a slow car. Yeah. And especially when we, you are in a rush, but vas con un poquito de, de prisa. And that person is, mm, okay, is very slow, like a turtle. Okay, Alex, your turn, and then we go with Judith. I can't stand selfish people. Oh, wow. And selfish, porque selfish is photo. Selfish. <laughs> ah, selfish, uh, yes. Uh, sería acá, tacaño. Yeah. Selfish people. And o egoísta, I can't... egoísta. Sí, sí, egoísta. Eh, la otra en Ice Can, can Stein. People can stand. who stare. People who is. Stare. Eh, stare. Roba. Roba. Ajá, roba, sí. Ok. Eh, eh, still es el verbo, ¿verdad? Pero podemos decir. Tier. Mm, Tier eh, significa ladrón. Ok. Ladrón es Tier. También podemos decir rover, pero no quiero decir que los robertos son son ladrones. No. Rover eh, es otro tipo de, de, de ladrón, ¿verdad? Pero thief es como más violento, ¿ok? Rover se refiere a los que se meten en las casas, ¿verdad? Los manos suaves, que le quitan la, la billetera a uno. But thief is like a, another type of criminal, dangerous criminal, even. ¿Ok? Uh, what about Judith? And then we go, ¿ok? Um, just a question, solo una pregunta. Permítame, Judith. Jose Miguel and Kelvin, are you driving? Van manejando. Jose Miguel and Kelvin. Just to know. No, no. No, okay, Kelvin, no problem. Thank you. And Jose Miguel and Cesar. Okay. Okay, we're going to continue. Okay, so Judith, please, please, please. Tell us. Desahogate, mujer. I can stand the call. La llam una llamada o what? No, call el frío. Ah, cold, cold. Okay. Judith, so you prefer heat. Tú prefieres el calor. Eh, sí, es que tengo sinusitis cuando está muy frío. Ah, uh, yeah, it is difficult to, to, to breathe. Respirar es uh -huh. difícil. Yeah, it's difficult. Okay. Yeah. Okay, yes, I understand that. But even... But cold is better. Yeah, I think. Creo que todo. Bueno, depends, depends. Nancy dice que ama el calor, dice Nancy. Okay. <laughs> and, eh, mentira. It's kidding, kidding. And, okay. So, um, as you can see, oh, Kelvin, what about you, Kelvin? Tell us what you can't stand. Uh, okay. Uh, I can stand the text. It says head of the world. Okay. Uh, Clima, no sé cómo que se dice clima. Ajá, weather. Uh -huh. What weather? Hey, weather. Ajá, y el otro sería I can stand the daily stories on the way home. Ok, pero en la primera idea, weather te refieres a un tipo de clima, eh, rain, lluvia, heat, calor, eh, cold, frío. Cuando, sí, cuando está el clima eh, muy, muy caliente. Oh, okay, hit. Yes, okay. Okay, so yeah, thank yeah. you. Thank you. Very good. Okay, so here, here you can see that, well, we have new vocabulary and it is important to have these types of vocabulary. So thank you. Thank you for all your opinions. I think uh, you are, well, you did it good. Thank you. Okay, so now here we have like uh, uh, infinitive and in this case, uh, ya habíamos estudiado eso, ¿verdad? I like to sleep, uh, or I like sleeping, okay? 
¿verdad? Podemos ser to, o, pero es mejor el ing. Ok, tenemos love, enjoy, don't like, hate. Ok, and here we can use different uh, hobbies or pastimes. Ok, algo que ustedes aman hacer. Ok, algo que ustedes disfrutan hacer. Something that you don't like, usted que no le gusta, o hate, algo que realmente odia. And something that you hate, maybe it is similar to this, okay? Because you are talking about uh, neighbors, problem with neighbors, with uh, people, uh, mistreated animals, people don't listen, well, a lot of things. So that's it. Okay, so we're going to do this. Necesito que hagamos una oración por lo menos. Utilizando esto, uh, using adverbs of expression. Eso ya lo usamos la vez pasada. Once, once a month, twice a month, three times, four times. Yeah, we don't have problems with that. And even we use every day something. For example, we take a shower every day. I hope so. Todos nos bañamos todos los días. Mm -hmm. Aunque sea baño ruso. Okay. And, and sometimes, well, we do things every week. For example, if pupusas every week, we do it. Definitely. Every month we go to the supermarket. Okay, we go to the supermarket every month. And we have we have our birthday every year. Tenemos como cumpleaños cada año. Entonces, esto se utiliza al final de la oración. Okay. I eat pupusas. I'm uh, sorry. I take a shower every day. I eat pupusas every week. Uh, we go to the supermarket every month or we have parties every year. Okay, so that's it. But now I need you to use always. Necesito que utilicen esto. Y lo van a hacer de la siguiente manera. You're going to do it and in the next way. Van a decir I. Y después del I van a utilizar always. Often, usually, sometimes, hardly ever, never. Pick one. Pick one and create a sentence. For example, I always take a shower. Okay. And even you can use your routine, daily routine, or you can use pastimes or you can use hobbies, whatever you want, okay? Pueden utilizar rutinas o pueden utilizar pasatiempos, lo que ustedes quieran, pero we're going to use this, los adverbios de frecuencia, esto vamos a utilizar. And we start with Marlon, okay? Marlon and then Susie. So tell me what, what you got for us. Eh, la oración, ¿verdad? Con, yeah, con, con please. Cualquiera. Yes, eh, one of these. I sometimes play soccer. Okay. Nice. Susie, then Carmen. I often read the book. Okay. Often, often. Mm -hmm. Often, sin la okay. T. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Perfect. Carmen, then Leslie. I always brush my teeth. Yeah. That's so important, but that's really important. Yes. Okay, Leslie, and then we go with Alex. I usually listen to music. Okay, perfect. Alex and then Diana. I always mm -hmm. play games. You always play games. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, who's next? Who's next? Uh, Diana and then Judith. I often eat fruit, fruits. Fruits, okay, yeah, mm -hmm. and that's healthy, muy saludable, thank you. Okay, Judith and then Carla. I always speak family every day. Oh, okay, yes, you have to. Um, Carla and then Kelvin. I always drink coffee. Uh, yes, and that's so important. So important. Thank you. Okay, Kelvin, and then we go with Andrea. I always I drive my motorcycle. Ah, motorcycle. Yes, I always. Yes, good. Aunque en ese caso, fíjate que eh, para decir motos, eh, para decir eh, conducir motocicleta se dice así, mira. Right. Right. Ajá, uh, ride my motorcycle. Ajá. Uh -huh. como, uh, como, como la película Ghost Rider de Nicolas Cage. Sí, sí. Ajá, uh -huh. entonces, rider 
que, que es motociclista, right. pero entonces ride. Ajá. Ride a motorcycle. Ok, good. Okay. Thank you. Um, también ride es el famoso cuando, cuando nos da un aventón. Se dice, hey, give me a ride. Hey, dame un aventón, ¿verdad? Pero nosotros no decimos ride, decimos ride. Ride decimos. Sí, decimos ride. But it is not right, it's right. Okay. Like this. Okay. Si quieres, alguna vez me, me dicen right, no le puedo dar right. Okay. Si me dicen right, sí. Okay, Andrea, your turn, and then Nancy. Uh, I always drink water. Mm. So important. Bueno, cambia de color. So. Okay, yes, <laughs> so important. Uh, Nancy, and then we go with Dora. I always do work hard. I always work hard, yes. Trabaja duro, yes, yes. Okay, Claudia. And then Dora. <coughs> I usually go to the beach one a month. Que bien, I usually go to the month. Once a month. Muy bien, muy completa la oración. Estamos bien, pues, con los cócteles. Ok, Dora, then Christian. I never play soccer. You never play what? Ok, I understand. Ok, and, and Christian. Sería, I, I usually go to the gym. Uh, on weekend on the weekend wow on the that, 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 that's good then very healthy and important ok vamos con classmate routine este soy yo miren que está colgado acá aquí estoy ok classmate routine and we're going to have a speaking activity vamos a tener una actividad este pues en parejas y la pregunta the question is um, what do you do on Friday eso, what do you do on Friday? ¿Qué haces los viernes? ¿Verdad? Entonces es importante, vamos, and we're going to mention four activities, four activities. Y luego vamos a hacer, pues, un, un, ¿qué? Escribimos la oración, you take notes, y vamos a hacer, por ejemplo, estamos hablando de Cristian. Eh, digamos que Nancy se va con Cristian, y pues, este, le toca decir Nancy después. Por ejemplo, Cristian... Uh, goes to work, has lunch, uh, has dinner, and finally go, uh, go to bed. Y, y va a la cama. Podemos utilizar after, ¿verdad? Después, o after that, and after that he goes to, to the bed. Y después va a la casa, a la, casa, a la cama, ¿verdad? Besides, también podemos decir besides, besides, que significa además, o podemos decir finally, ¿ok? So um, I suggest you to have to be ready with your four activities. Uh, and uh, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia mientras ustedes si gustan pueden copiar. You can uh, write down this vocabulary. That it is important. So um, um, Alberto Soriano, no. Andrea, hello, Andrea. Good evening. Good evening, Carmen. I'm here. Yeah. Cesar, hello, Cesar. Can you hear me? I know that it is difficult for you, but what? Uh, Claudia. I'm here. Good. Uh, Christian. Present. Thank you. Alex. Present. Miss Diana. That's me. Mm -hmm. Good. Dora. Present. Yo, ever I saw you over there. Por ahí, ever. ¿Cuándo? Ok, uh, Javier, no. José Fajardo, no, I'm so sorry. José Miguel, I saw you over there. Te vi por ahí. Carla. Hello, Carla. Present. Ok, thank you. Kelvin. Present. Thank you, Leslie. Leslie. Present teacher. Good. Marlon, hello. Present. Nice. Nancy. 
Present. Good na. Susie. Present. And Judith. Okay. So, um, okay. Because I need mean, like, so the chat. So, okay. I'm going to create the, the, the groups. Okay. And I'm going to give you like three minutes. Le voy a dar como tres minutos. This is like very fast, a very uh, fast activity. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Just give me a minute. Okay, to you. Hi. Hola, Kelvin. ¿Está por ahí? Sí. Hello, Kelvin. Hi, hi. Ok, vamos a comenzar. Ok. What do you do on Friday? Mm, what do you on Friday. Ok, ella te pregunta, tú tienes que decir qué haces, Kelvin. On Friday, mm -hmm. I... Mm -hmm. Ah, ah, ok, ok, ok. Vamos.
Okay, so let's listen to some of you. Um, maybe um, Carmen, you have an idea, and then Marlon. Okay, so tell me, um, on Friday, mm -hmm, I don't know who was the person. No sé con quién estuviste. Mm -hmm. Con Dora. Okay, recuerden la tercera persona. Vamos a utilizar el verbo en tercera persona. Okay, please. Okay. Dora get up, get up. Gets, gets up. Gets up. Mm -hmm. Gets, gets up. up. Mm -hmm. Takes a shower. Good. After has a breakfast. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And goes to work. After a finished work, goes uh, right home. Finally goes to bed. Perfect. That's good. Well said, bien dicho. Okay, Marlon, your turn. And then we go with Diana. Uh, <clears throat> Christian, mm -hmm. he goes to work. He plays guitar. He goes to the gym. And finally, he sleeps in his house. Okay, that's nice. Uh, and Diana, right? And then Susie. Una pregunta es eh, las actividades eh, de mi compañero o las mías. Oh, your partners. Then, ah, ok. He is eat pupusas. Ok, he eats, he eats. He eats pupusas. He and, and he sleeps. Sleeps, sleeps. Sleeps. Sleeps <laughs> after mm -hmm. rest, play the games, and finally watch TV. Watches. A movie. Mm -hmm. Watches. Watches. Watches TV. Mm -hmm. Good. A movie. Yes. Thank you, Diana. Very good. Estoy haciendo bastante hincapié con eso porque es que a uno se le va. Believe me, sometimes in my case, I have tanto que uno se emociona, pero uno se le va, but good. Perfect. Okay, Susi. Show time. Okay, my partner is Nancy. Mm -hmm. Nancy gets up, gets up at uh, 6 a.m. She works at uh, 7, 20, 40, 45, 45 a.m. She has lunch at 12 a.m. At 12, has, at 12. Mm -hmm. Ah, perdón, perdón, perdón. Sí, sí, 12. She has online class at uh, 8 p.m. Mm. Yeah, very good. Just, I like that. Okay, and we go with Claudia. Okay, Claudia, tell me. Hey, hello. Ooh. Tengo que decir el nombre de mi compañera. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a, is it a secret? ¿De un secreto? Ay, okay. Hagámoslo en secreto. Um, she takes a, sh a shower. She has. She takes. Mm -hmm. She dress up. She goes to work and she ate breakfast. Mm -hmm. She goes to work and mm -hmm, she takes breakfast. Okay, good. Okay, so now we have like a very a clear idea about what uh, our partners do. And uh, we have like the idea of expressing the third person, de expresar las terceras personas, okay? Así que, okay, so we continue. Uh, I know that some of you have a, a lot to say, but uh, we have different uh, contents for the tonight class. Activities and reasons uh, or free time activities at work que tenemos en el trabajo. And uh, I have mentioned this before. Check the mail, check the inbox, text, post, share on Facebook, text on WhatsApp. Espero que hayan cambiado su configuración de Facebook. Espero, espero, pero depende de ustedes. Okay, it's up to you, but I strongly recommend you. Realmente se lo recomiendo. Have some snacks para quienes eh, tienen un par de bocadillos, but Reese's, especially like at 3 p.m. or three and a half, three y medio, un cafecito, a coffee cup, okay? Uh, and you need like bread, um, Maria Luisa or something like that. Okay, talk with a colleague or partner, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. What else se, se, se asusta ella? Okay, so um, this is important. These are the departments of an enterprise 
or we can say the areas of an enterprise, las áreas de una empresa. This is a tourism business enterprise, que es una empresa de, 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 de turística. We have general management, we have marketing, we have operations, finance, sales, HR, and purchase. HR is human resources. Okay, recursos humanos. Purchase is compras. Sales, we all know that it, it is ventas. Operations, operaciones in marketing, mercadeo. Okay, and remember that uh, the areas of an enterprise can change depending on the enterprise. Depende mucho de la empresa, okay? El objetivo y todo eso. And here we have some others. For example, um, here we have human resources, que es eh, siempre HR, ¿verdad? Lo, 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 lo que les había comentado anteriormente. Finance, que es finanzas, el área pues eh, contable principalmente. Tenemos marketing, que es el mercadeo. Sales, ventas, maintenance, maintenance, que es mantenimiento, service, servicios, manufacturing, que es la, 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 la parte pues ya práctica de, 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 de la manufactura, el, el proceso ya propio de la empresa. Mm, procurement es, es, es este, adquisiciones o compras. Y tenemos supply chain, que es cadena pues, de proveedores, supply chain. Okay, so let's listen to some of you. Maybe you remember some words, uh, Nancy, then Andrea. You remember any area of an enterprise? Nancy. Okay, Andrea, do you remember one? Uh, marketing. Marketing, good. Christian, what about you? And then um, Susie. Sales. Okay. Sales. Sales, go. Susie, so, 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 then Marlon. Marketing of trade. Marketing or what? Of trade. Okay. Marlon, then Dora. Human resource. Human resources. Good. Dora, then Carmen. Sales. Sales, ya me lo dijeron, Dorita. Dígame otra. Tell me another. Marketing, ya. Yeah. También. No. ¿Estás copiando? Another. Eh, Busca en tu corazón. Finance. finance, ya ves, ya ves. Bueno, más o menos, más o menos. Ok, Carmen and then Claudia. Supply chain. Supply chain, yeah. Claudia, then Leslie. Manufacturing. Manufacturing, yes. Manufacturing. Yes. Leslie and Judith. Pro procurement. Procurement. Pro procurement. Yes. Procurement. Thank you. Judith, do you have another? Human resource. Okay, human resource, ya me la dijeron, pero bueno. I'm going to go with that. Purchase. Mm -hmm. Por, purchase, purchase, purchase. Okay, uh, my, dice Nancy. Ay, Nancy. Y haciendo trampa. Maintenance. Se me desactivó el la. Ajá, uh ajá, -huh. uh -huh. yes, yes. We all believe. Okay, uh, so here we have some areas, pero las que vamos a practicar, or we're going to study, are these. Son estas principalmente, que se parecen, but some of them have like different names, but the function is almost the same. Es casi la misma la función. We have production. We have research and development, purchasing, uh, Susie, what is purchasing? No recuerdo. Really? Diana? Purchasing? Mm, I don't remember. Vaya, Dora me va a decir porque ella busca en su corazón siempre. Dora, purchasing? No. Se dio por vencida. Ok. Eh, tenemos marketing. Human resources management is the same. Human resources or human resources management. Solo que el, el management principalmente es como la, la, la parte de jefatura. Okay. Accounting and finance. Accounting and finance. ¿verdad? Producción. Eh, research and development podría ser como investigación y desarrollo. Research es investigar. And development. Development. 
y yo durante mucho tiempo decía development, no, development, es desarrollo. Purchasing es compras, 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 purchasing. Marketing es mercadeo. Human Resources Management, ¿verdad? Que es la jefatura de recursos humanos. Accounting and Finance, que es, eh, es contabilidad y finanzas. Okay. So, uh, in some cases, the, the department is just accounting or finance. En algunos casos solo es eh, contabilidad o finance. But, okay. So, here we have, um, let's see, you're going to help me first to read. Ahorita solo vamos a leer. Okay. Read. And then you're going to tell me. We're going to start with Claudia with this. And then we go with Christian with the second. Okay, Claudia. Research and identify. Go ahead. Research and identify. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. Was was customer mm -hmm. one and need at the right place. Así es. Right okay. Good. Vamos a ver. Antes, antes de Christian. Before Christian. Andrea, ¿qué dije que significaba research? Busquen tú. Bus Ay. Busca, busca. No. Come on. ¿Cómo buscar? Uh -huh. Ser, Exacto. algo así. Gracias. Buscar, investigar. Uh -huh. Investiga e identifica lo que los clientes quieren y necesitan en el lugar adecuado. Eso es esta parte, research. Ok, uh, Cristian. Recruit, recruit, select and train. Sería number two, recruit, recruit, select in, in train new employees uh, for the right job in the company. Yes, good, thank you. Okay, now we go with Carmen and then Marlon. Okay, keep the financial record keep, keep the, fin mm -hmm. the financial record of transaction involving monetary inflows and outflows yes inflows and outflows okay good eh, bueno antes que nada recruit significa reclutar cuando decimos recruiter in call center there, there are some recruiter los recruiter eh, son los reclutadores lo, 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 los que van e, y seleccionan ok, entonces dice recluta, selecciona y entrena train es, entrena, eh, es entrenar o capacitar, ok train como trainer, entrenador o training, cuando le dice I'm going to training voy a una capacitación ok, train so um, eh, recluta, selecciona y capacita nuevos empleados para el, el, ¿cómo se llama? el trabajo correcto en la compañía. Ok, y me dijeron, keep the financial records, records, ok. Me, keep es, mantiene o lleva, este, o monitorea, bueno, más bien lleva, ¿verdad? Mantener, lleva, lleva el, eh, los, el récord financiero, ¿verdad? ¿Verdad? O, o el récord es como el historial financiero de las transacciones que envuelven inflows es entrada y outflows salida de las entradas y salidas de dinero ok uh, we go now with Marlon control and supervise uh, control and supervise the production work, workforce and inventory yes controla y supervisa mm, la Producción, ¿verdad? La fuerza de trabajo, la producción y pues el inventario. Thank you. Now we go with Susie. Develop, design. Develop, design, new or improve, existing, existing. product, existing, existing, así. Existing. existing product or process. Processes, processes. Processes. Yes. Ok, good. Um, eh, desarrolla diseña este, o mejora, ¿verdad? 
eh, nuevas eh, o productos existentes o procesos, ¿verdad? O sea, que desarrolla, diseña o mejora, ¿verdad? Todo lo que tiene que ver con los procesos o los productos. And here we have the last one. And this is going to go for Carla. Carla, aquí vamos con buy, como adiós, ¿verdad? Y este es acquire, y este es row. Buy and acquire row. Uh -huh. Buy and acquire row. row in proven exist. No, no, aquí está, aquí, aquí estamos, en la última estamos. En la última estamos. Buy and acquire row. Buy Um, an pro material production mm -hmm. equipment equip, equipment etc etc for, for the, use. the use, use of the organization organization okay good organization okay claudia is going to start claudia me va a elegir una and then dora okay claudia what do you want qué quieres para navidad production Research and Development, Purchasing, Marketing, Human Resources Management, Accounting and Finance. What number? Number six. Accounting and Finance. Vamos. Yes. Dale. It is a keep the financial financial record, financial record of transmit or oh, trans, transition involving monetary in, inflow and outflow. Yes, transactions, transaction. Transaction. Como transexual, pero transaction. Ok, good. Thank you, Claudia. Very good. Ya, yeah. punto para ti. Dora, que se me hizo ahorita. Ok, what number three? Three. For chasing. Mm -hmm. Buy and acquire. Um, acquire right material, production, equipment, etc. For the use of the organization. 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 Yes, good, Arita. Good, excellent. Okay, now we go with Judis. And then Alex. Okay, Judis. Number Judith. five. Number five, human resources management. Uh -huh. Recruit. Uh-huh. The let in train new employees for the right job in the company. Yes, good, Judith. Mm -hmm. Recruit, select, and train. Train. Mm -hmm. Como train. Mm -hmm. Train. Bien, bien, bien raro, ¿verdad? Train y también es empleo de capacidad. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Alex. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Leslie. Divel, uh, number five. Number five, ya está. Ya está tomada, number five, number six, number three. Number four. One, one or four. Okay, one. Production. Research. Research, ¿cómo es? Uh, research. Research. Mm, okay, production. Tú, ¿Sí? tú dices que va aquí, research. Uh, research. Mm -mm, no, my friend. No es esta. Cualquiera de estas dos podría ser. Production. En una de esas dos ahí está la palabra clave. ¿Qué te dice tu corazón? <risa> marketing. Ok, vamos con marketing. Vamos. ¿Cuál sería? Marketing sería... Ok, I'm going to give it time. Te voy a dar tiempo. Ok, Bye. now we go. ¿A quién le había dicho? ¿A quién más le había dicho? Leslie. Leslie. Okay. Vamos. Leslie, tell me, tell me. Uh, marketing. Vaya, espérate, que si esa se la vas a ganar, el pobre Alex, y va a quedar llorando. Uh, Mejor vamos con production and research and development. Uh -huh. Production. Ok, vamos con production. Muy bien. Sería control and yeah. supervisor. The production workforce. En inventory. inventory. Muy bien. Supervise. 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 Bien, Leslie. Okay. Nice. Well said. Bien dicho. Ok. And Alex, are you ready? ¿Ya estás listo, Alex? 
You have only yes. two options, this one or this one. Okay, marketing. Marketing is develop. Uh -huh. Develop the thing, new or improve the existing product, products okay. or process. Ok, casi, casi, vaya, pero es la otra. Marketing, vamos a ver Alex, léeme esta, research and identify. Resist and okay. identify. What? What customer. One. One and need, need. Need at the right place. At the right place. Ok, y tenemos production. Sí, porque el marketing busca, identifica lo que los clientes quieren, ¿verdad? Ese es su área, su área ¿verdad? su campo. Y tenemos Research and Development, que aquí dice desarrolla, diseña o mejora. Develop, design or eh, improve, ¿verdad? Los materiales. Muy bien. Vaya, estas palabras, these words are important. Research, research, identify, recruit, recruit, train, keep the financial record. Inflows, outflows, supervise, inventory, develop, design, improve, buy, acquire, row. Row significa como, esos son los materiales, son los materiales como en bruto, también de la palabra. Materia prima, teacher. Materia prima, that's it, that's it. Thank you, Mar materia prima. Okay, so research, identify, recruit, train, keep financial, inflows, outflows, that's the facet. Supervise, inventory, develop, design, improve, buy, acquire, grow. Son eh, palabras bastante importantes que pues, les pueden servir más adelante. Okay, de hecho, lo vamos a hacer. Yep. Mm -hmm. Recuérdame que es buy. Y acquire. Ok, buy significa comprar y acquire, adquirir. Se parece un poquito a acquire con adquirir. Un ok, uh -huh. gracias. Ok, no problem. Eh, no sé si alguna vez fueron a una, una tienda que se llamaba Easy Buy, que era para ese zapato. Entonces, Easy es fácil. Easy Buy compra fácil. Uh -huh. Y también tenemos la de pay less. Pay significa pagar y less menos. O sea, pague menos. No sé si pago menos. Ok, that's it. Okay, uh, so we continue with, with the, the same topic. Bien, tenemos a la short presentation, ¿verdad? In a short presentation, esta va a ser bien corta, va a ser bien breve. What you have to do is uh, this. Lo que tiene que hacer es lo siguiente. You have to say this. I work in, dicen el nombre de la empresa. I am a, you say your occupation, I belong to, and you have to mention the department. Tiene que mencionar el, el departamento. It can be production, research, development, purchasing, marketing, human resources, management, accounting. Okay. O puede ser uh, sales, uh, service, maintenance, manufacturing, procurement, supply chain. Algunos de ustedes trabajan acá, ¿verdad? Porque, porque proveen, ¿verdad? Proveen cierto producto. Okay. Operations, sales, okay. So uh, there are uh, different areas uh, that you can mention, you can say. Okay, so we're going to start. Esto lo vamos a hacer bastante corto. Okay, so we're going to start with Marlon, my friend. You're going to be the first. So, time to shine. <clears throat> okay, uh, my name is Marlon. I work in Tornolara. I am an architect. I belong to the sales department uh, and I, uh, I check emails I, and I visit projects. Oh, wow. Yes, yes. Good. And, and even I think you monitor projects. Creo que también monitorea, ¿verdad? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, I good, do. Marlo. Very interesting job. Muy interesante. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Now we go with Susi Q. Okay, hi, my name is Susana Jimenez. I work in Distributora Salvadoreña. 
I am, I am a, a promotion assistant. I belong to marketing of trade department. Uh, and I have to fill the shirt with products that the company distributes. Okay, there's distributes, distributes. Distributes. Okay, good, nice, nice. No, si después vamos a hacer ahí, me va a avisar, dice. Eso sí, a ver, productos. Ok, Claudita, que está riendo de mí. Ajá, Claudia, tell me. <laughs> Hello, my name is Claudia Ventura. I work in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. I am a promotion assistant. I belong to the marketing of, of premise depart. And my function is a place in Salt Lake. Yes. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Now we go with Diana and then Christian. Good evening. I am Diana Guevara. I work in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. I am promotion assistant. I belong to marketing department of premise. And I place the, pre, the product on shelves, keep them in order and verify that those that are about to expire, expire. are expired, are removed from the point of sale. Good. sale. Thank you, sales. Thank you. Okay, now we go with Christian, right? And after Christian, we go with Nancy. Hi, my name is Christian Castellanos. I work in Industrias Tornolara. I am an architect. I belong to sales department and I make cute and check the mails and, and basic ten, technica. Uh -huh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, fix it. Um, Son visitas técnicas, ¿verdad? Sería technical visits. Technical visits. Mm -hmm. Ok, good. Perfect. Ok, excelente, Christian. Thank you. Ok, Nancy, your turn to shine. Turno de brillar. My name is Nancy Acosta. I work uh, in an um, accounting office. I am an accountant. Um, I belong to accounting and financial department and I prepare speeches in prepare financial report. Hey, financial, financial. Fin financial. Mm -hmm. Así, very good, ¿verdad? Okay. Entonces, de, tú uh, estás en accounting and finance. Así se llama el departamento, accounting and finance. Of course, you are. Ok, en Andrea. Ok, Andreita. Ok. Hi, my name is Andrea Vázquez. I work in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. I am a promotion assistant. I belong to marketing department and I set price for liqueurs and I order liqueurs, beers, and non-alcoholic products. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. Okay. Later, we're going to continue. Okay. First, here we have uh, this. We're going to have a listening activity. So I need you to write uh, next. I need you to write name. And uh, please write a uh, nickname department, hobbies, and frequency, okay? So with this, mm. uh, what we're going to do is that you're mm. going to listen uh, the name of that person. You're going mm. to um, listen the nickname. Recuerdan que nickname, verdad? Es como, una, uh, es como pues, un nombre de pila. Puede ser apodo o puede ser nombre de pila. Um, the department and um, hobbies and frequency.
Hello, my name. Okay. So I think we are ready. Creo que estamos listos. Uh, there are only, well, three names, uh, well, three people. So it is important to have clear. And we're going to listen twice. Vamos a escuchar dos veces. Okay, we go with number one. Remember that you don't have to make this chart like this. No tiene que hacer el cuadro, pero, but if you want, you can do it. Yeah. But what it is more important is the name, nickname, department, hobbies, frequency, because you're going to write this, this, and this. Okay. Let's listen. Number one. Hello, my name is Peter, but my friends call me Pete. I work in the purchasing department and I always go out with my friends. Okay, listen again. Hello, my name is Peter, but my friends call me Pete. I work in the purchasing department and I always go out with my friends. Okay, number two. Hi, my name is Mary Jane, but my friends call me MJ. I work in the production department and I never go to the movies. Second time, number two. Hi, my name is Mary Jane, but my friends call me MJ. I work in the production department and I never go to the movies. And finally, number three. Good evening, my name is Francisco, but my colleagues call me Frankie. I work in the accounting and finance department and I hardly ever play video games. And three. Good evening, my name is Francisco, but my colleagues call me Frankie. I work in the accounting and finance department and I hardly ever play video games. Okay, my dear people. What do we have for number one? What's the name? Same name. Peter. Peter, Peter Parker. Okay. What about, okay, what about the nickname? No le entendí mucho, pero creo que decía Coli Pit. Coli Pit. Vamos a ver, Tadianita se inventa. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other idea about the nickname? Pit. Pit, you, wow, that's good, that's good. Pit, Pit. Mm -hmm. Nice. And what about the department? Easy, cheesy, right? For chasing. Mm -hmm. And what about the hobbies and frequency? Always. Uh huh. Always. That's the frequency. And the hobby. What is the activity that he does? The activity mm -hmm. that he does. Solo escuché with my friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other, thank you. Any other person? What did you get? ¿Qué captaron? Go out. Okay. Peter, Pete, purchasing, go out. Yeah, with friends. Yes. And always. Mm -hmm. Esa es la frecuencia, always. Thank you. Very good. Okay, now what about number two? Uh, it is a girl, right? What's the name of this girl? Mary Jane. Mary Jane. Bueno, tenemos Peter Parker, tenemos a Mary Jane. Nice. <laughs> what about the nickname? MJ. MJ, mm, MJ yes. Uh, the department? Production. Okay, production. What about the hobbies that she does? Never go, go to the movies. Okay, never is the frequency and the hobbies is uh, go to the movies. Let's check. 
Yes, Mary Jane and MJ. It is very common that when we have these composed names, cuando tenemos como esos nombres compuestos, como Michael Jordan, we say uh, MJ, también Michael Jordan, se le puede decir así. Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, MJ. And algunos que se llaman Juan Carlos, eh, JC, ¿verdad? And, and, y de igual manera. Okay, so department production, hobbies, go to the movies, and never. Okay, and the last person. Uh -huh. Es Francisco. Paco, okay, Francisco Flores. Uh -huh. And what about the nickname? Frankie. Frankie, yes, Frankie Valley. Okay, the department. Accountant and finance department. Good, accountant and finance. Yo creo que compañero de Nancy. Pues excellent, Nancy. Okay, what about the hobbies and their frequency? Play video games y frequency is ever. Never. Ever. Ever. Será ever, como el compañero de cada clase. Hardly no. ever. Hardly ever, hardly ever. Okay. Francisco, yes. Frankie, mm -hmm. accounting and finance. And uh, hobbies, play video games and frequency, frequency, hardly ever, hardly, como Harley Quinn or Harley Davidson. Okay, hardly, hardly ever. Okay. And uh, now we go with information questions. So this is more than important. I need you to pay close attention to this. And um, these words help us uh, to create open questions. Because when for, well, for asking close question, we use do or does. Para utilizar las preguntas, para crear preguntas eh, cerradas, utilizamos do or does. Because the answer is going to be yes or no. But in this case, uh, these are like words that we use for like, like a journalist, como que un reportero utiliza estas, ¿verdad? Ok, tenemos la primera que es how, tenemos what, when, where, who, why, how, what, when, where, who, why. Las que son fáciles de pronunciar son what, when, where, ¿verdad? How, aquí a veces no nos confundimos. Who, ¿verdad? Why. How significa cómo. What, qué. What, when, cuándo. Where, dónde. Who, quién. Why, por qué. Okay, so th this is uh, la la like very simple. And let me see. Okay. Carmen, tell me one department that you remember that we have studied. Un departamento que hemos utilizado or that we have studied and then Marlon. Accounting and finance. Accounting and finance, nice. Marlon and then Diana. Uh, perdón, teacher. Yeah. Un departamento. yeah, one department, yes, that we have studied, or one area. Uh, uh, sales department. Okay, sales department, Diana, then Nancy. Purchasing. Purchasing. Uh, Nancy, then Dora. Production. Okay, production, product. Good. Dora, then Andrea. Financing. Accounting and finance, pero ya me la dijeron ahorita. No, me estoy copiando. Ok. Ya le voy a dar tiempo para que me diga otra. Busca en su corazón, como siempre. Busca, busca. Ok, Andrea. Uh, then, Claudia. Sales. Sales, ya me la dijeron. Uh, human. Human. Re resource. Resources. 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 Ok. Claudia, solo gozan. Ok, Claudia. And then Susi. Supply chain. Supply chain, yeah. Susi Q. Then Christian. Marketing. Marketing, yeah. Rápido le dice para que no se la gane. Christian and Judith. Esa era marketing. Ah, 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 sí, la vieja confiable. Ok. Production. No, mira, mira, aquí están aprendiendo mañitas, ya lo vi. Ok, Christian. Any other? No hay otra. No more. 
como finances, finance, eh, producto, también, ma también. marketing. Le estás copiando a Dora, que Dora le copió a no sé quién, ok. But there are some other areas, come on. Busca, busca no, tu corazón. No remember. You don't remember, ok. What about Judith and Leslie? Services. Services, services. Good. Leslie. A ver. Procurement. Procurement, yes, excellent. Okay, so now that we have this, um, Carmen, guess what, what is how? What, is, what does it mean how? Como. Yes, como. Marlon, what does it mean why? Por qué. Por qué, yes. Uh, Dora, what does it mean who? Inventar algo, Dorita. Inventar, inventar. Bien. ¿Quién va? Yes, yes. Good. Eh, Susi, where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde? Sí. Diana, when? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Ok. ¿En what significa qué o cuál? Ok. So, um, tenemos aquí eh, this and I need Carmen to select one and read it. Ok. Carmen okay. and then Claudia. When? Mm -hmm. Just to ask about a time. Ok, uh -huh. used to ask about the time, o sea, acerca del tiempo, ¿verdad? Normalmente, ¿cuándo? Ok, um, let's see, Claudia, and then Judith. Where? Uh -huh. Where used to ask about to ask a place? About a place. Ok, about a place, ok, good. Entonces, where normalmente eh, lo utilizamos para preguntar sobre algún lugar, dónde fue, ok, nice. Judith. Why? Why? Use. Use to has about a reason. A reason. Mm -hmm. Y uh, lo utilizamos para preguntar sobre una razón. Dame una buena razón para no. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. Why, where, uh, when. Um, Kelvin, tú seleccionas who o what. Who. Who, ok. Use. Use to ask. About a person or place. Or place, yes. Entonces, eso es para preguntar, ¿verdad? Para de una persona o lugar, pero principalmente eh, persona. Ok, Alex, what? <clears throat> Use. Use to ask about informat information. 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 Ok, yeah. So, this is like the simple use for these words. El, el, el uso simple, ¿verdad? Para esas palabras. Ok, so. We continue with the short presentation and let's listen to, to Carmen. Okay, Carmen, time to shine. And after Carmen, we're having Christian. Okay, good evening. My name is Carmen René. I work in Inave. I am a cooperation director. I belong to direction of external, external cooperation And um, I make cooperation agreements and manage management projects. Perfect. Well said. Management projects. That's nice. Yeah. It is very important what you do. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Christian. And after Christian, we're having Dora. Ya, ya lo había presentado. De verdad, Christian. Sí. Ah, pues no. Entonces... Eh, Alex, me hace falta. Christian, sí. sí, le puse aquí la marca. Okay. Los... Ya, zafándose, Cristian, ya estuvo. Ya. Ok, good. Ok, Hello. Alex. Hello, my name is Christian. I work in G4S Solution. I am a security. I belong to operation. And, uh, and I detect something. Usually, usual, uh, and, and usual, usual, and usual, and usual, usual, verdad? And usual. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and usual, and send report. Ah, you send report. Okay, yes, of course, it is important. Uh, okay, uh, what about Dora? Dora, and then um, Carla. Hello, good evening. I work in Transporte Deluxe. I am 
uh, human resource department. I belong to a mini. Mm -hmm. And, and I preparation of payroll. Okay, I prepare. Mm -hmm. I prepare of payroll. Okay, o sea que sin, sin vos no, no le pagan a la gente. Okay, good. Tienen que llevarse bien con vos. Nice. Thank you, Dora. Thank you, thank you. Okay, um, now we go with Carla and then Kelvin. Hello, my name is Carla. I work in Distribuidora Salvadoreña. I am assistant the promotion, the promotion in Belon to of priming marketing. I am an e to side drive and we distribute the liquor beer. Okay, liquors, liquors. Liquors. And, re, and y recuerda, I am, I am. ¿Verdad? Cuando dice, yo soy. Okay, Carla. Thank you. Now we go with Kelvin and then with uh, Judith. Hi, my name is Kelvin Morales. I work in Green Versiones SADCB. I am a truck driver. I belong to Food and Spirit Transportation Department. I supply food to supermarket, the food and spirit, and check in that the food receives 100% at for woman consumption. And consumir. Mm -hmm. Al final, no sé cómo se dice. Con... Consume. 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 Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Now we go with Judith and then Leslie. Hi. My name is Judy Bautista. I work in Acoac DRL. I am a manager business. I belong to administration. And I coordinate business team and credit analysis. Okay, thank you, Judy. Now we go with Leslie. Good evening. My name is Leslie. I work in Articolor Uniformes. I am a graphic designer. I belong to marketing department. And I design new products and create art for production. Okay, and create, create mm -hmm. art and production. Create. Okay, good. And uh, Jose Miguel, are you ready? Estás listo or you need more time? Soy listo. Okay, go ahead. Good evening. My name is Jose Miguel. I work in Tornolara. I belong to sales department. I am an architect and uh, it's over. Okay, and what about the, the functions that you do? And then uh, I send the mails and supervising and design project okay. and sell, seller uh, product. Okay, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Okay, now um, that we finish this, we continue with that. 30 minutes and we finish. 30 minutos y terminamos. My friends, my dear friends, mis queridos amigos. So, uh, we're going to study the, the WH questions que son las preguntas con WH. Aquí tenemos what, where, when, how, what. ¿Verdad? No me digan how, es how, how. Ok. Um, so, number one, I need Alex. Ok, Alex. Uh, I need this question and the answer. Ok. So, what do I do? What do I do? Mm -hmm. I supervise. I supervise the production. Workforce. workforce, okay, production, production workforce. Okay, now we continue with Dora del Carmen. No Dora del Carmen, Dora del Carmen. Where do you work? I work in the account department. Accounting, accounting department. Dora, recuerda decir work, perdón, work. Thank you. Carmen de Marlon. When do we go to meetings? Uh, can you repeat again, please? When do we go to meetings? When do we go to meetings? We go to meetings two times a week. 
Ok, podemos decir meetings o meetings, como ustedes quieran. Ok, but good. Ok, Marlon, and then we go with Claudia. How? Ok. How do they plan the marketing? They investigate. They investigate the customer's needs. Ok. Mm -hmm. And the last, what time? What time do you take breakfast? I take breakfast at 8 a.m. Ok, 8 a.m. Ok, muy bien. Creo que no hay problema con esto. Needs es eh, necesidades. Ok. Ellos investigan las necesidades de los clientes. Customers, esto es bien importante. Si no, si no saben esta palabra, anótenla. Customers significa clientes. Ok, customers, customers. Aunque se escribe customer, la O pasa acá y la U para allá en la posición customers. Ok, this is very important. Especially when we work, well, you work with customers. Uh, well, most of you, la mayoría de ustedes, okay? So, um, then we have this. We're going to create questions based on the answers. O sea, vamos a crear preguntas basadas en las respuestas. Okay, so Andrea and Diana. So, I need you to pick one of these. Creo que, quiero que seleccione cualquiera de estas. And remember, uh, podemos usar, we can use who, what, why, where, when, dependiendo de lo que se necesite. Ok, ok. Where do you work? When, how. Ok. So, in this case, uh -huh. Andrea. Andrea, no, Diana, but... and Susi. Ya está no, but... todo esto, Andrea. Yes, I like that attitude. Me gusta esa actitud. Cuatro días para viernes. Come on. What number? Number, number two. Number two. Where, where do you work? Okay. Yeah, okay. Where do you work? Okay. Fácil. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, Diana, then Susi. Ay, Dianita. Esa iba a elegir yo. No, aún se vale. <risa> Voy a poner una multa ah. por las veces que digan eso. Mm, sería entonces... Do you need time? Do you need more time? Mm, four. Four. Um, we... Quiero ver... Mm. What... Do you work? Casi. Casi. Mira. What do I do? I supervise the oh. production force. Okay. Ajá, sería what? What do I do? Eh, no, sería what do you do? What do you do? Ajá, le puedes preguntar a un grupo. ¿Qué hacen ustedes? Mm. Ah, we, we design. Mm -hmm. mm. And others create a new product. Okay, thank you. We okay. design and, and others, others create, create the new product. Mm -hmm. Y eso que hace Leslie, design. Porque ella, ella diseña. Okay. And Susie, then we go with Dora. Porque... Teacher, no. sorry, yo estoy un poco confundida. Yo no, o sea, ahorita pues no. no se confunda. No se confunda. <laughs> Siga tu corazón. Hola. I fight. Pienso que sería, I think they have a mirror. Ah, mi, mira, mira. Esa es la, la so, clave. Ah, del ok, ya, ya. Why? Why? Why they have Bien, aquí a siempre, siempre vamos a utilizar acá el auxilio. What do? That's, yeah. What claro, does? Como emociona. Why yes. does? Okay. <laughs> okay, where do... How, do, when, do, es igual. Es como que utilizamos okay. el do y el das, solo que le agregamos esas palabras al inicio. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. So, uh -huh, let's do it. Yeah. Sería entonces, why does they have a no, mirror? Why do, why do they? Why do, sí, siempre do, ok. Why do uh -huh. have a mirror? Así. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Why okay. do they have a mirror? Uh -huh. And, okay. and, It says, eh, they have meeting because, y esa es la clave, el because eh, es la respuesta del why. We have to talk about the inflows and outflows. Marlon, what is inflows and outflows? Do you remember? Yes, inflows is entradas o ingresos. 
in outflows and salidas. So yes, good, good. I think you are learning a lot of technical vocabulary. Están aprendiendo bastante vocabulary técnico. Okay. And who's the next? Ah, Dorita. Okay, Dora. Tell me, one or three? Three. And the last one we're going to have, vamos a tener de último a Claudia, que para que no se rían de nosotros. Okay, number three. Vamos con number three, Dore. Who, who do working at them? Vaya, aquí tenemos una pista, mira. 10 p.m. When? Casi, 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 casi. Time. Ajá, vamos a ver acá. What time do ah, ah. Es, what time do you work? ¿Y ¿Quién se la ganó a la pobre Dorita? <ríe> Andrea, mira, a ver. Ok. Mm, sería, what time? No, no es do you. Estamos hablando de María la Orgullosa. What time? Y está, estamos what? hablando María y yo. ¿Mm? Nosotros. Ah, nosotros, yes. Entonces, Entonces nosotros. Es, what we, time do we? we what no sé, what okay. time do we work? What time do we work? Que la estoy subrayando. What time? I'm working. <laughs> no. Stars. Start working. Start working. Sí, la voy a subrayar. Ok. What time do we start uh -huh, working? Y ahí sería María and I start working at 10 p.m. Yes, thank you. Good. And the last one, I'm going to give it to... Ok, Marlon, para que se divierta, Marlon. I have to write a report. Tengo que escribir un reporte. Mm -hmm. uh, ahí sería... What, what do you have to do? What do you, what have, you have to, to do? do? Mm -hmm. What yeah, do you what have do... to do every Friday? Yes, what do you have to do every Friday? ¿Qué tiene que hacer cada viernes? What do you have to do? Entonces, en este caso, uh, well, it is important that don't forget, no olviden el do, ¿verdad? El do y el does, it is, it is essential, es esencial. Y si se dan cuenta, aquí es como que si le quitáramos, si le quitamos el where, miren, si le quitamos aquí el where, ahora voy a poner otro color. si le quitamos el where, dice, do you work? Si le quitamos el when, dice, do you go to meetings? Vas, vas a reuniones. Pero si le agregamos el when, ¿cuándo vas a reuniones? Ok. Uh, so, do and does, it is important. Ok. Ok. Information questions. Tenemos eso. Why do you like chocolate? ¿Por qué te gusta el chocolate? I don't know. Well, personally, I don't like it. But there are some people that they like, they love chocolate. So, you can ask, why do you like chocolate? ¿Por qué te gusta, no sé por qué está, ¿por qué te gusta el chocolate? Because it's sweet. Porque es dulce, aunque no siempre es dulce chocolate. But anyway. Ok. Where does she study English? ¿Dónde estudia inglés? Ok. Entonces eh, tenemos acá que dice She studies at school. Then here we have Where does he work? ¿Dónde trabaja él? Sería He works in the supermarket. Okay. So, veamos, ya para ir terminando. Why do you like chocolate? Because it's sweet. Where does she study English? She studies at school. ¿Dónde estudia inglés? Estudia en la escuela. Uh, vamos a ponerle aquí mejor. La corporativa. Para que vean. Ok. So, uh, she studies at English Corporativo. And where does he work? Donde trabaja. He works in the supermarket. Se dan cuenta que aquí estamos utilizando las terceras personas en las afirmativas. O sea, en las respuestas. ¿Ve? She studies. 
Okay. He works. Pero en la pregunta no le agregamos eso. Solo en las afirmativas. Okay. So this is very important. Uh, okay. We are about to finish. Bien. Antes que nos vayamos a una conversación que va a ser la última. Esto es bien importante. Quiero que vean eso. Look at this. Y aquí tenemos. Uh, we have what, where, why. Okay. So you can create questions. Pueden crear preguntas. Por ejemplo. What does he like ice cream? Mm -hmm. no, 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 I'm sorry. Why does he like ice cream? ¿Por qué le gusta el sorbete? I don't know. <laughs> no sé por qué. Pero igual, podría ser una pregunta. So we can do different questions. For example, why do you work? ¿Por qué trabajas? Because I need money, porque necesito pista. So uh, we can do different questions. So uh, let's listen to Andrea. Que la veo tan concentrada. So Andrea, you go with one question and we go with Nancy. Con la blusa de abeja. Okay, so Andrea. What? Do you take the bus? Vaya, sería what? Eh, yo creo que sería where. ¿Dónde tomas el bus? Where do you take the bus? Yes, excellent, Andrea. Okay, Nancy, and then we go with Dora. Sería, where do you work? Okay, where do you work? Me estás copiando, pero está bien, but that's okay. Good. Let's listen. See, hi, Nancy. <laughs> Dora. Where does she play? Football? Yes, yes. Where does uh, she play? Bueno, aquí dice football, pero sería como soccer. Yeah. Thank you, Dora. Well said. Okay, now what about Leslie? Leslie. Hi. Mm, quiero ver, quiero ver. Sería. Why, why do. Why do you brush the teeth? Sí. No sé cómo se pronuncia dientes. Sí, sí. sí, ¿por qué te lavas uh -huh. los dientes? Yes. Why do you brush the uh -huh. teeth? Ok. Y tenemos otra, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Marlon. Can you mention one? Sí. Eh, a ver. What does. Eh, no. Sería. Where does he play football? Mm -hmm. Where does he play football? Ah, le estás copiando a Dora. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Okay. Mira, Dora, te están copiando. Okay. So. Um, Before we have conversation with third person, vamos a una conversación corta, 15 minutes, and we finish. Okay, so um, here we have a simple conversation. Well, solo son tres. Ahora solo son tres. We don't have four convers short conversation. We have three. So uh, number one, we have yellow words, las famosas palabras en amarillo. Okay, so here we have, miren, does. Okay. Where does... What does your mom do? ¿Qué hace tu mamá? Ok. Eh, aquí tenemos women's, women's clothing. Aquí women, recuerdan que es mujeres, pero tiene la apóstrofe y la S porque es ropa de mujeres. No, no, la, no por decir mujeres, porque women ya, ya significa mujeres, ¿verdad? Small, things, adults. Does women's clothing, small, things, adults. University. Así que eso está, eso está mal. Eso. Ajá, university. Studies. Engineering. Small. Apartment. Apartment. Okay, small, small. Apartment. Uh, who takes care? Who takes care? Daughter. Convenient. Convenient. Works. Esto ya lo sabemos. Plus, plus. Daughter, eh, aquí se la vamos a cambiar por otra palabra que mejor 
es besides. Besides significa además. No usa más besides que plus. Okay. Besides. Besides, como ya les he dicho, significa además. My daughter stay. My daughter stay. Ok. So, um, aquí dice, ¿qué hace tu mamá? Mi mamá uh, sells, vender. Mi mamá vende ropa de mujeres. Oh, sí, le dice. Where does she work? Where does she work? Susi, ¿qué significa esta, esta pregunta? Where does she work? Donde ella trabaja. ¿Dónde trabaja ella? Yes, good. Y le dice, eh, she has a small shop in the mall. Tiene como una pequeña tienda en el centro comercial. Y luego dice, ¿vende ropa para adolescentes? No, she only has things for adults. Solo vende para los adultos. Bien, conversación dos. ¿Qué hace tu hermano? Fíjense bien. What does your mom do? ¿Qué hace tu mamá? What does your brother do? ¿Qué hace tu hermano? Siempre utilizamos el das porque estamos hablando en este caso de he. O sea, tercera persona. Y aquí hablamos de she, tercera persona. He is a university student. Él es un estudiante universitario y estudia ingeniería. Oh, y esta es una pregunta cerrada. Does he live at home? ¿Vive en casa? O sea, en la casa de ustedes. No. Y tercera persona. He lives next to the campus. Vive a la par de la universidad. Tiene un pequeño apartamento. Y le dice, ¿viene mucho? Does he come much? No, he doesn't. No. He doesn't have much free time. No tiene mucho tiempo libre. Y la última. Who takes care of your daughter when you are at work? ¿Quién cuida? Takes care significa cuidar. Por ejemplo, cuando nos despedimos y le decimos, bye, take care. Entonces podemos decir así, ¿ven? Take care es el famoso cuídate. Goodbye, take care. Entonces, adiós, cuídate. Entonces, who takes care of your daughter? ¿Quién cuida a tu hija cuando estás en el trabajo? Mi mamá la mira. Ella vive a la par de mi casa. Oh, eso es conveniente. Sí, mi hija camina uh, ahí después de la escuela. Wow. Eh, eso funciona. Works out significa eh, funcionar. Oh, eso funciona bien para ti. Works out. Sí, les, así es. Además, besides, my daughter loves staying with her grandma. Además, mi hija ama estar con su abuelo. Ok. Conversation one. Vamos. Um, Christian and Nancy. Conversation two. Marlon and Susie. Okay, conversation one, showtime. What does your mom do? She sells women's clothing. Oh, yeah. Where does she work? She has a small shop uh, in, in the, the mall. 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 Mm -hmm. mall. Oh. Do es chisel clothing for team? No, she only has team for adults. Adults, adults. Okay. adults. Esta es das. Das. Nancy, aquí me pronunciaste bien esta palabra. Aquí se te fue la chaveta. Ok, good. Das. Quizás como la viste en Mayuco, la verdad te confundiste. Quizás, pero es la misma. Das, das. Ok, Marlon en Susi. Ok, showtime. What does your brother do? He is a university student. He studies engineering. 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 Oh, does he live at home? No, he lives next to the campus. He has a small apartment. Um, does he come home um, much? No, he doesn't. He doesn't have much free time. Okay, good. Now, number three. We go with Diana and Claudia, okay? Diana, you're going to be the man, the macho man, okay? And Claudia, you're the woman, okay? Who takes care of your daughter? Your start. Who takes care of your daughter when you're at work? My mom washing her. She living next to my house. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, my daughter work, work day after school. 
Wow, that works work, out. Oh, works out well for you. It does. It does. Besides, besides, my daughter Robin is tiny with her grandma. Okay, good. Thank you. Excellent. I need to have screenshot. Necesito tener captura de pantalla. Conversation one and two. Bueno, no, no, sí, es que no, no creo que salga la, la tres. Okay, now we are ready with conversation one and two. And now we go with conversation three. Estamos. Okay, conversation three. Okay. So let's do it. Uh, vamos a, a practicar. Ocho minutos, eight minutes. Y practicamos en seis, okay? So, para tener un último repaso. Let me see, let me see. Okay. See you in a couple of minutes. Lo veo un par de minutos. He is studying engineering. Oh, does he live at home? No, he lives next to the campus. He has a small apartment. Does he come home much? No, he, does, he doesn't have much free time. Okay, conversation three. Voy a buscarla porque esa no la tengo. Pero... Oh, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál les hace falta? Conversation 3. Conversation 3. Ok, here you have it. Ok. Ahí está. How takes care of your daughter when you're at home, at work? My mom watches here. She lives next to my house. Oh, that's com convenient. Yeah, my daughter works there after school. Wow, what works well for you? I does. Besides, my daughter loves staying with her grandma. Who takes care of your daughter when you're at work? My mom works here she lies next to my house. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, my daughter was there after school. Wow, that work 
of wealth for you. Okay, to finish, uh, we're going to practice a little bit about this vocabulary that we have started tonight. Let me see. Okay, and we just, some of you, the first one is going to be Nancy, hoy si no se me escapa Nancy, okay, the, from the words underlined, de las palabras subrayadas, mira que bonito subrayo, okay, Nancy, select one, tell me in English and Spanish, that word, and then we go with Carla, okay, vamos Nancy, hoy si no te escapas, Recruit. Yes, recruit, recruit. What is recruit? Recruit. Recruit. Mm, recruit. Recruit. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Okay, Carla, you go and then we go with Andrea, que también se me esconde. Mm -hmm, Carla. Okay, I'm going to give you time. Andrea, you go. And then we go with uh, Alex. Selección una de las palabras sobreas and tell me in English and Spanish. Okay, Andrea. Design is diseñar. Eh, improve is mejora. Thank you. Okay, good. Emotional. Nice. Thank you, Andrea. Okay, Alex. Number three. Number three. Kid, mm -hmm. llevar. Ah, muy bien. Keep llevar. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, Carla and then Marlon. Inventory. Invent what is inventory? Um, yes, inventar. okay. inventario. Inventario. Okay. Thank you. Marlon, then Dora. Eh, traduciendo, ¿verdad? Las palabras. Yeah, sobre... English and Spanish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. eh, research e investigar. Perfect. That's nice. Eh, Dora and then Carmen. Dora, Dorita. Bye, comprar. Thank you. Carmen. Inflows, ingresos. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Okay, I'm going to check the attendance list. Voy a revisar la lista de asistencia and we finished. Solo recordarles siempre, pues, agradecerles a los que tienen siempre su cámara activada. Los que no, recuerden que todo eso también va a contar, ¿verdad? Yo sé que a veces, a veces uno se tiene que levantar, hay ciertas cositas y uno la paga. I understand that, yo entiendo. Pero si pasamos toda la clase con la cámara apagada, pues, puede que eso tenga incidencia. Porque van a haber varios comentarios, porque a veces entran a ver esos videos o los ven al final. Y si no están ahí, pues, no hay mucha manera de constatar que ustedes estén ahí, pues recibiendo la clase. Así que pues les sugiero, faltan nueve clases. Entonces yo les sugiero que el resto que normalmente tiene la cámara apagada, sí que algunos la, la, la pagan por momento, no hay problema, ¿verdad? No hay problema. Pero si toda la clase está apagada, pues eh, puede que haya un par de dificultades, ¿ok? So, Alberto Soriano, not here. Andrea, hello Andrea. Hi teacher. Thank you. Carmen. I'm here. Nice. César, no. Claudia. Claudia. I'm here. Thank you. Christian. Eh, Christian Alberto. Bueno, ya va a aparecer. Present. Thank you. Alex. Good evening. Present. Thank you. Diana. Present. Thank you. Dora. Present. Good ever not here. Eh, José Miguel. Hello, José Miguel. Present. Thank you. Carla. Present. Nice. Kelvin. 
listening. Hear the teacher. Good. Leslie. No. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Marlon. Present. Nice. Nancy. Present. Thank you, Susana. Susie. I'm here. Nice. Judith. Present. Ok, nueve clases y terminamos el módulo. Ya casi. So, ánimos. See you tomorrow. Lo veo mañana. Descansen. Take bye. care. Okay, take care. Carla, te me quedas, Carlita. Hoy te toca. Take care. El resto. Goodbye. Ok, Carla. Uh, this is very, like, quick. Eso es bastante rápido. O sea, el tiempo se pasa volando acá con esta, eh, pues, con, con esta como asesoría de 10 minutos. Um, tú dime de qué quieres que trate estos, pues, eh, con estos 10 minutos. Si quieres que te explique un tema que te, si te dificulta, quieres que revisemos pronunciación de algo, ¿verdad? Te puedo hacer una pequeña interview, te puedo hacer una pequeña entrevista si tú quieres, pero tú me dices este, qué consideras como más importante que necesitas. Eh, lo que yo siento que a mí me cuesta es la pronunciación. Muy bien. Vamos a hacer algo. I will show you. Te voy a mostrar. Ok. I'm going to show you. Just give me a couple. Ok, I'm going to present, te voy a presentar una conversación que vimos hace tiempo. Ok, so here we have. Son palabras más básicas que las que estamos viendo. Así que vamos a hacer un ejercicio, vamos a practicar eso. Ok, comienzo. I like your family photos. Who is this? I like your family. No, 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 no. Yo soy, uh, yo soy el primero. Tú vas con ese. That is. That is my dad. He is a doctor. Wow. He is very tall. Yes, he is. Is this your mom? Yes. He is a doctor too. Okay. Wow. Smart family. Bueno, number two. Um, who are these people? They is me. No, aquí me estaba diciendo my. No me digas me acá. Sería my. Sí. That is. That is my. My bus, husband. husband mm -hmm. In this picture. Mm -hmm. He is at work. Is he a fireman? Yes, he is, and he, this is me daughter. Está diciendo otra vez mi, y ya me dicho my, my daughter. My daughter. Okay. Wow, she is so cute. Yes, she is cute. Ok, acabo de pronunciar yo cute, entonces cute. Es, es necesario que te fijes en algunas palabras que yo digo porque a veces las repites. Ok, vamos, número tres. Who are the people in this picture? That. That is me older. Mm, me. My older brother and younger sister. Younger sister. Mm -hmm. Oh, what do they do? My sister is a pilot. Mm -hmm. My my brother is a far farmer, farmer. Mm -hmm. wow they have cool jobs yes they do mm -hmm. wow. and who are these people you you say are me grand my grandparents. Mm -hmm. Oh, my do they live in town? No, they live in the 
country. Go country, mm -hmm. they have fun and fun. fun. How nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go there often. Okay, muy bien. Ahora vamos a practicar una conversación que vimos ahora, la conversación of today. Bien, vamos con la primera. Comienzas tú. What does? What, what does your mom do? Uh, she sells women's clothing. Oh, yeah. Where do she work? Mm, bueno, aquí me utilizas tú. Does. Entonces aquí también tiene que decir does. Mm -hmm. Where does, does she work? Mm -hmm. She has a small shop in the mall. Does she sell clothing for teens? No, she only has things for adults. Okay, vamos well, number two. What does your brother do? He is a university student. He is a student and engineer. Oh, does he live at home? No, he's live next. To the compo, he has a small apartment. Does he come home much? No, he don't. Doesn't. He, he doesn't. He doesn't how much free time. Okay, conversation three. Who takes care of your daughter? when you're at work? My mom watches here she like next to me house. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. Me sugar was there of school. Oh, wow, that works out well for you. He does. I do. I does. Facing me, doctor, love, stay, stay with stay her, with her grandma. Okay. Vaya, este Carla, te voy a explicar un par de cosas que te pueden ayudar. Fíjate que hay palabras que confunden. Por ejemplo, cuando estamos practicando, a veces este, nuestro cerebro se adelanta un poquito en el sentido de que ves una palabra. Entonces, la anterior, la anterior que posiblemente ya la conocemos, eh, se nos dificulta porque le, le, nos ponemos como, nos predisponemos. Entonces, lo que yo te sugiero es hacer un par de cosas. Por ejemplo, algo que te va a ayudar mucho, como le dije la vez pasada, es escuchar música en inglés, pero... Enfocarte en los coros. Por ejemplo, ¿qué, ¿cuál es tu, tu tipo de música favorita? ¿O tener algún cantante o una banda? La salsa. Muy bien, salsa. Pero la salsa normalmente es en español. Aparte de eso, ¿tenés otro género, otro tipo de, de música? Eh, la balada. Muy bien, las baladas. Entonces, por ejemplo, si digamos, escuchamos música, ¿qué? De ochentas, noventas. Puedes buscar música un poco lenta, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, Air Supply, que pues el Indion, hay, hay, hay varias, hay varias. Entonces, lo que te sugiero que hagas, Carla, es que busques los coros de las canciones. Busca los coros y antes de cantarlo, solo léelo. Y si querés, puedes copiar eso, lo pones en el traductor de Google y escuchas la pronunciación. ¿Lo escuchas? Y vas poco a poco y de ahí comienzas a cantar. Entonces, a medida tú te, te sientas como más en confianza, eh, practiques y a medida que vos asocies esas palabras, te van a ayudar. Te sugiero eso porque la otra opción es que tú leas lo que les digo a la mayoría, que lean las cosas en inglés, ¿verdad? que lean artículos en inglés, pero tú necesitas escuchar la pronunciación. Entonces, una vez que en, en, en traductor de Google, por ejemplo, tú has, has puesto que esa frase, entonces ya la puedes cantar. Porque en este caso, yo veo que aquí tú te confundiste en unas palabras que a veces me las decías bien y a veces me las decías incorrectas. 
Entonces, este, yo siento que tú puedes aprender más, pero tienes que practicar más, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, eso es importante. Y como a ustedes les van quedando este, todas estas conversaciones, puedes anotar eso en el traductor de Google y escuchas cómo se pronuncia y vas con ella, aunque ya hayamos pasado esas conversaciones, pero te das cuenta que, por ejemplo, hay varias palabras como does, como mom, como work, que las vamos repitiendo. ¿Verdad? Entonces en varias conversaciones aparece eso, entonces por eso es que es necesario pues, saberlo, ¿verdad? Así que Carla, ese se nos acabó el tiempo, ¿verdad? Te dije que esto pasa bien rápido, entonces te recomiendo eso, escucha las canciones, utiliza mucho el traductor de Google, más que todo para la pronunciación, porque hay una opción que da clic y, y se escucha, ¿verdad? Okay. Así que poco a poco se va a ir aprendiendo. ¿Oíste, Carla? Ok. Ya, nos vemos mañana. Gracias, Carla. adiós.